I am taking back the Spencer's Ocean Flow Lava Lamp 16.3 inch. <laughs> and the 16 inch one isn't as cool. You know what's funny with these lava lamps is you have to, I guess, look at the dimensions yourself. But the bigger ones might be the same height, but they're more like that. So there's more ounces of liquid inside the lava lamp. But what happened was, I had this problem where the inside of the glass had this weird gunk. This was, I don't know what it was. There was no way to get it off though, because it was inside the glass. And I said, screw this, I'm not going to keep a lava lamp. And it wasn't like my other one. I have, a, I think it's the Amherst the AIH, whatever it's called, lava lamp. I have that one, and it has the same substance on the bottom. It goes about 25% up, but then it stops. The rest of the lamp is fine. I didn't even notice that because it's a dark lava lamp, so you couldn't see it. Um, unless you really looked. Well, with this one, it's over all the entire thing of the lava lamp. Now, here's what sucks about expenses. Is that, um... If it's sold out, there's nothing you can do about it. You could buy it online, but I don't like buying things online. I bought quite a few lava lamps, in fact, online. I bought one off of eBay, my best lava lamp that I have. Oh, no, that's just a reflection. <laughs> thought there was something wrong. And the best, yeah, the best lava lamp I, I, I bought was online was the Alien Lava Lamp. It's not the one with the black, it's, just the, it's the one that's yellow. Very expensive. And um, of course, if you try to rob it from me now, <laughs> it's not going to be worth much because it's pretty worn down. Um, I bought those from Spencer's. I, I bought uh, online. Um, yeah, I bought the alien one. The other one I bought at the store. The containment lava lamp I bought online. Um, the ocean floor at the store. The other ocean one was at the store. Um, what was it? The, the, oh, this, uh, this orange lava lamp I recently bought. 70s or 80s or whatever it's called. Then um, the shock lava lamp, I don't have to keep going through it. The point is I bought a bunch of them online, and um, I just I'm always afraid something will crack or break. And they're only allowed to ship it certain ways. You can't ship it to Canada, you can't ship it on um, airplanes. There's so many places you can't ship lava lamps, and there's so many reasons why. It's, it's number one, like, you know, they can break very easily, cause a leak, they can cause all kinds of problems. Uh, but I don't think it's that. I think it has to do with something else. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. And um, that's that. So, also what Spence's, you have to realize, is that they have an availability system, just like almost any other store does, that tells you, oh, this item is available, that item is available. The problem with it is, is that it's not accurate. When I bought the Ocean Floor Lava Lamp, it was at the store when it said it wasn't. And, and the problem I have with it is, well, maybe it just happened to be in stock and didn't take place in the system. What am I supposed to do? Go to all the nearby stores, which there's not that many expenses that they buy. Two of them. Actually, no, one. Um, in Rhode Island, you have the expenses at the Browners Place Mall. The one at the Wall Mall closed down a, long, a while, a few years ago, at least or more. Then you got one at the Emerald Square Mall. I'm not going to go run to the Emerald Square Mall every single time something happens. So, um, I don't really know if they have these lava lamps or not. And then you could say, well, you can call ahead of time. Yeah, call ahead of time. Someone walks in and buys a thing and you went there for nothing. Um, I just think there should be a better system in place to, to see if there's available items. I love lava lamps. I really do. I have a fascination with them ever since that someone bought me one for Christmas like four or five years ago. I just, I like them. And the reason why I bought this one was because it was a bigger lava lamp. Well, unfortunately, now I don't have it anymore. I have it right next to me. I'm going to take it back soon. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I feel bad that I had to have the imperfections. That's another thing. A lot of imperfections with these lamps. If it's not that gunky substance that looks like it's inside the lamp or that's against all the glass, then you'll find that, um, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to say, you'll find imperfections in the glass itself that are like dots, clear dots, and if you turn your lava lamp on, 
it's almost like there's holes in the glass, but it's, it's you know, it's just the glass. It's like it's chipped or something. Um, I, I found out that's a huge imperfection. I can't stand buying things like that because um, it really, it really affects the whole overall thing with lava lamps. Now I've been I've been buying lava lamps long enough. I mainly buy the Spencers ones because they're right next door, right near my house. If I buy from somewhere else, I can't trust those brands. I don't know what's going to happen if I have to return them or something. Mostly, the Spencers is the only store I can think of anywhere that really sells lava lamps. Primarily at their um, how do I put it? Primarily just at at their stores, and actually they're doing they sell even more online now. Um, I can't name another store that sells lava lamps at the store. I don't think they do. I don't think they. Maybe the stores that dedicate themselves to retro stuff, but other than that, forget it. And if you go to a place like uh, the Time Capsule where they sell all old kind of stuff, they don't sell lava lamps. And I'm actually surprised. It'd be a good thing for people. The problem with it is, and I think the biggest downfall of a lava lamp for a lot of people that buy them, is that they buy them, never had one before, and decide, well, I'm just going to turn it on, this is going to be really cool, a couple of minutes, everything will be going. It takes three to four hours, well, it says two to four hours on the on the bottle with that little um, cardboard thing they put on the top of it when you, buy, when you open the box. Really, it can take three to four hours, in my opinion. And that's why it takes so long. That's why I set my lava lamps to turn on three hours before the sun goes down. And why are you saying that's stupid? It's not stupid. If you don't do that, what happens is, is, um, is that the lava lamps won't be ready when it's dark out. Now, I hate that. I really do. Um, and the lava lamps have gone up. Spencer's lava lamps, this 14.5 inch lava lamps are about, um, What's it called? They're about thirty-five. I'm not at thirty. I think it was thirty-five dollars. Maybe I'm wrong. It might be thirty-five dollars. The seventeen-inch ones are forty, and the um, sixteen-point-threes are forty-five. They're extra, very expensive, but times have changed with inflation, so you can't go and buy a lava lamp for cheap, cheap. It's impossible. You can go on Amazon, and they'll show you lava lamps for like twenty-three dollars. And they're all junk. You should see the ratings. All of the, almost every single lava lamp they sell on Amazon has a horrible rating. And there's a reason for that. The land dispensers ones aren't perfect. Um, I'm going to have to take mine back. And I think I'm just going to take my money back if I can. Um, they seem to downsize with their um, lava lamps. Like they, they still have them on display. They have like three or four of them. They show floating around and stuff. But they've pretty much downsized everything they do. And I kind of feel bad about that because, um, first of all, it would have been nice if they could stock all of them. Actually, they didn't, they didn't downsize. My mistake, what they did was, is that all the ones they used to have that were in three or four rows that went up and then went down. You know what I mean. Now... All of a sudden, they decided to do with the lava lamps is they had one little section and they put them all the way up to almost the ceiling of the store. So the people can't even see half the lava lamps they're looking at. And if they do, they need help to have someone take it down. Are you going to make the person take it down just because they want to look at it for a few seconds and then put it back up? Another thing is, if you buy a lava lamp, you have to take the chance that the bulb may not work that's inside. Some people take it back because the bulb is busted. If you're like me, that's a really stupid thing to do. What you should do is you always have backup bulbs in hand, 40 watt bulbs in hand, in case that happens. That way, if you buy a lava lamp and it's busted, you can easily just switch out the bulb and be that. But some people don't have the money for that. And I understand. So what they're going to end up doing is they're going to end up buying a lava lamp and um, it's only happened to me once or twice, and that's it. Like the one I bought on eBay, I was so pissed off because the bulb didn't work. Uh, <laughs> and come to find it out, I just switched it out, and that was it. Um, but that could be a problem. I can see how that could be a problem. Um, 
But yeah, that's basically it. Good luck, everybody. If you're going to buy a lava lamp, I suggest you buy it with Spencer's because at least you have the chance of taking it back. Even like I said, I know it's tough to get the same one that you might have, but at least you can. You have some chance of doing it. If you send it back to um, eBay, eBay sellers are really rough. They, they'll fight you not to get the return. But um, Amazon, that'll be a whole different thing. You're going to have to wait days. Over a week, I would say, to get another lava lamp because you have to wait for the refund and whatnot. It's really the biggest pain in the ass ever. All right, that's it. Goodbye.